What's going on guys, my name's Adam, back playing some Black Ops 3 on the worst map in Call of Duty history of all time and probably will be ever. This map, I don't think they could make it worse. Normally, I would leave, but I wasn't paying attention and it loaded the map and I thought, oh, rubbish. One thing, two things actually, that I don't understand about this map. One, the size. Why the hell is it so damn big? I mean, it's not as if the mech suits are massive. And four of them just take up most of the map. No, it's not even as if that, they're quite small. That's quite nice, killing him like that. They're quite small. This map is huge. And when people are also in the mech suit, the whole map shakes. The whole map. I mean, was this bloody hardcore? Managed to catch two people just right there. I will be very surprised if we get to half the amount of kills we need. I watched... Thunder, one of the YouTubers I watch, he had this map for free for all. Free for all! How stupid can they be? Why is it in the rotation for free for all? Why is it in the rotation for Team Deathmatch? Why is it not purposely only in the rotation for Ground War? And I even think 9 versus 9 on this map's a bit too small. No, like, bit, bit too few people. The map's too big. I know what I mean. I'm ranting and I forgot my train of thought. But they Oh. I just... Uh, this would be... You know those... Nothing against them, but the indie games that... You have quite a good game. And then they try and copy it and make a complete hash up of it. In my opinion, that's what this is. This, to me, sort of looks like they tried to make Titanfall. And did a really bad job of it. A really bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. Aesthetically, the buildings look like buildings. The sky looks brilliant. Grass looks like grass. Trees look like trees. Aesthetically... It it looks well done, shall I say. It doesn't look good. It looks well done. But, oh. What? Teammate, are you going to kill him now? That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know what they thought they possibly were thinking. I mean, I... I've said it in other videos. I think... The map packs that came out for Black Ops 3 were absolutely atrocious. All of them. All three map packs. They made a fairly decent game. Probably one of the best Call of Duties, if not the best we've had so far, in my opinion. Other people have different opinions. Damn, he melted me fast. One burst course. M8 one bursted me in the thigh. I wish when I used the M8 it was as good as everybody else's. Oh, feels like the connection's going a bit funny here a minute. And those mech suits as well. They've got some piss poor damage. They really have. They got a fair whack of health, but the amount of bullets it takes to kill people, jammy bugger, is ridiculous. Oh, come on! Hmm. I suppose that serves me right for having three kills to start that were like one-shot kills. Now I can't kill anybody. 
got a dude on my team running around with a baseball bat that actually managed to kill someone. Unusual for me, I'm running rocket launcher. That's because, again, I'm trying to do challenges. Oh, I can't look out that gate. Oh, no, it's not a gate anywhere. It's a window. There's an enemy that's going to come and try and kill me. Such a boring map. I'm sorry, guys, that you're you're watching it. But, oh my god. Right. Yeah, I saw ya. How many bullets? I know my aim was off a little bit. Oh. <laughs> this map is so bad. A little while back, I was going to make uh, my opinion top five worst maps. And then this come up, and I thought, this this is worst map one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, it would, I don't think it would have been so bad if they had made it that there was six mech suits one side, six mech suits the other, and you could only get into your own sort of mech suits. Like one's red, one's blue. You can only get into them. Once they're dead, they're dead. The mech suits don't come back. But had a smaller map. Or better yet, they just shouldn't have tried. They should not have put this bloody mech suit crap map in. I said you got a god awful noise in the background. Well, I'm not sure what noise that is. Meow. 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 Sounds like Gary from SpongeBob. I don't know who was shooting at me then. Getting off topic. That sounds like Gary from SpongeBob. Yeah. Oh. No, nope, that's a teammate. There's an enemy here somewhere. Uh, hey, that's cool. My teammate's baseball bat looked like a giant pencil. Oh! That man! Make sure you've got enough ammo before you start shooting someone in the back. I actually stopped myself from shooting then. I'm bound to run up here and get shot in the back. Hostile UAV, I'm dead! Oh! Oh! I'm bound to be dead in a minute. They're going to start rushing me, I reckon. Because I am only three and a bit kills away from my rate. So it's about time it lagged and I died. Oh, I've got no more rockets either. Do you ever find when you're playing games like Call of Duty, I'm stood behind this wall. I was actually in my seat trying to peer over the top of it. I know, how stupid is that? That's not going to help me. I'll try and peer over the top of a wall that's in a game that I'm looking at a flat screen. Yes. There's a, I've got, there's a motorbike game I've got. Oh. And I'm, I get terrible for leaning with it. And it annoys me so much. Because I know I'm leaning. And I know that that's not helping. And I know in Call of Duty, when I try and look around a corner or peer over a wall, it's not going to help me. But I do it anyway. It just bugs me. We got 37 seconds of the gameplay left to go. We're one kill away from hitting halfway. Are we, go we got halfway. Da, da, da. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Not usually, uh, not usually running hive, but you know, now and again I like to play and annoy people. 
Rather than just destroying them, annoying them that way, just cheese like shock charge, trip mine. Five. Oh my god. Oh, thank Christ that's over. 51 kills to 41 kills. That is the worst map. Worst design map in COD history. And probably will be for any foreseeable Call of Duty. Yes, you should have trusted your gut. But that'll be it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And I'll catch you on the next one.